What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today I am really excited because we're playing with one of my favorite cards ever, which is Outlaw's Merriment. Uh, it's a really silly card. For four mana you get an enchantment. At the beginning of your turn uh, you get a random token. That could be a 3-1 with Trample and Haste, a 2-1 with Lifelink and Haste, or a 1-2 uh, with Haste, and then whenever it uh, enters the battlefield it deals one damage to any target. So Lots of really cool stuff that you can do with this card. Some of the decks that I've seen have been more controlling. This is much more token focused. So this is very much focused on just getting a bunch of tokens out, uh, doing it every single turn, and then hopefully getting a Divine Visitation down, uh, which is another enchantment for five mana, which uh, basically says whenever one or more tokens enters the battlefield under your control, you get that many 4-4 four, four angels instead. Uh, each of those have flying and vigilance. So to combo with that, we also have Bishop of Wings, which is a really fun card. So it's a 1-4 for 2. Whenever an angel enters the battlefield under your control, you gain 4 life, which is awesome. But whenever an angel dies, you get a 1-1 one, one spirit token with flying as well. However, if you have Divine Visitation out, uh, you actually just get another angel. Uh, which means for absolutely no damage to you at all, in fact you gain life out of the deal, you get free blockers. Uh, which is really, really nice. Or free attackers, however you want to do it. Uh, to continue the theme, we do have Speaker of the Heavens to uh, hopefully be able to tap and give us a 4-4 Angel as well. We also have Omen of the Sun, which again with Divine Visitation out gives us Angels. Uh, Bastri Ket is here really to keep our stuff kind of alive and power it up a little bit. Um, but if we can get to that emblem, we're in really good shape again with the Divine Visitation. Chandra works super, super well in this deck. Uh, you create your two 1-1s, one but instead you get the 4-4 Angels. When they die, if you've got Bishop of Wings out, uh, they uh, they basically stay on the field and you gain 8 life, which is pretty awesome. So really, really sweet. Birth of Miletus, really nice because you can also, um, this not only kind of helps get your land drops going and gains you a little bit of life, but you get a 0-4 wall or a 4-4 angel, depending on where we're at in the game. Uh, Dawn of Hope, a great little token engine for us, but also gives us an ability to draw some cards if need be. Um, Archon of Sun's Grace, one of my uh, kind of other favorite cards of this deck, um, spits out tokens itself and just gives things lifelink and does a lot of stuff. It's a really, really powerful card, to be honest. Uh, an interesting card that I didn't really think about when I pulled this list was Angelic uh, Exaltation. Uh, really interesting, 4 mana enchantment, whenever a creature you control attacks alone, uh, it gets plus x plus x until end of turn where x is the number of creatures you control. Ideally, we're going to have a lot of creatures, so it's really, really nice to be able to just swing in with one of them and do tons and tons of damage. Now, sometimes you're going to want to to attack with everything, um, but this does give you positions to swing in and still leave up blockers, especially if you don't have the Divine Visitation out. Uh, because obviously the angels have vigilance, but this just gives you a way to kind of move in uh, and be a little bit more aggressive without having to commit your entire board to the attack. Uh, the last card in here is Shatter the Sky. Now, this seems very out of place here, I know, but uh, the great thing about this deck is it's all tokens, so it doesn't really matter. Plus, if all of your stuff dies and you've got Bishop of Wings out, you just get a lot of it back. Um, not to mention, uh, with Outlaw's Merriment, you're going to get the creatures back regardless. So, like... It kind of doesn't matter that your stuff dies, and this gives you so many outs against a lot of the aggressive decks that we're seeing right now, especially on the best of one ladder, like mono red, things like that. Uh, as far as the lands go, I believe, yep, we are at 24, so we've got 8 plains, 5 mountains, 4 Arden Vales, uh, 4 Sacred Foundry, and then 3 Temple of Triumph. A little bit less on the temples, because we do kind of want to hit our things on curve. So... That's the deck. It's a really fun one. I've been playing a little bit with it just to kind of test it out, um, and it's it's done okay. Uh, it's not been great, but um, it's been really, really fun, so hopefully we can get a few wins with it. <clears throat> also, just want to mention to you guys, we did get, finally, our Double Masters uh, booster box uh, opening up uh, as of last night, so if you're interested and you haven't seen it yet, I do suggest you go watch that. It's a really fun set. Uh, our box wasn't amazing, to be honest, uh, but we did get some good pulls. We got some decent ones, so I'm happy with it. Uh, let's get the speaker down. Next turn, we'll have Bertha Miletus and then Omen, uh, if we would like to. So we're actually doing okay here. Uh, we'll just discard a Bertha Miletus. We've got two. We really don't need to. Let's do this. Get Birth down. Get a Plains. I'm actually not going to attack in here, um, just because we're about to get a wall, so we'll be able to block this regardless. I'm going to make him kind of answer the speaker. Ooh, 
Well, that works. That's very good. Uh, I'm glad we made them answer it, but that's very good. All right. Uh, let's do this, and do we just want to pass with Omen up? I, I actually think, yeah. Um, in this case, I think that's the right play. Uh, we're also about to gain two life, which is nice. Sure. These discard decks are really, really good. Uh, Charming Prince with the Burglar Rat. That's pretty nifty. Um, sure. You got it. Probably just discard the planes here, to be honest. Um, we've kind of got most of the land that we need. We still need a couple more, but like everything in our hand, uh, planes will not help us cast. So, Oh, and we didn't flash that out. Whoops. Oh, well. All right, let's gain two. Uh... Yeah, let's just flash this out now. That's fine. Kind of misplayed there. I should have done that at the end of their turn. So, whoops. We could have attacked in uh, at this or at least um, had some more stuff up here. But that's fine. Uh, I'm going to kind of commit to playing a bunch of stuff here solely because uh, if they're a discard deck, we're going to start losing some stuff. <clears throat> so the more we can get out now, the better. That's fine. That's actually not a bad draw here. So uh, we can either do that or we can Chandra. Chandra's also not bad, but I kind of like this. <coughs> Excuse me. So this just means that we'll be able to swing in here and they do kind of have to either answer it or uh, chump block it, which is kind of nice. And we will try and get rid of this, uh, this Kaya here. All right. And this is exactly the situation where Angelic uh, Exaltation really comes in handy because we don't really want to be attacking him with a ton of stuff, but we do want to threaten the, the Planeswalker. <clears throat> sure. Nice. Yorian is very cool. It's a really interesting deck. Alright, so. Let's see. They're scrying to one top, one bottom. Shatter the sky. Do we just shatter, is the question. Um, or do we wait for a bit more of a commitment from them? Uh, let's see. Hmm. I'm assuming they're just going to block here, but let's just see what they do. We're going to shatter anyway, so like this is fine. <clears throat> might as well at least have tried. All right. Gameplay might be a little loud. Let me know in the comments, by the way. I think it might be. All right. That's fine. I mean, it's not great, but that's fine. Birth of Miletus. I do really like Birth of Miletus because it does mean, but it actually doesn't help tremendously here. So let's do this. I am going to try and answer the Kaya as much as possible here. I think that that's pretty crucial. Um, just given that we don't really have much graveyard interaction, but um, I think that's just important. Wow. Double Oath of Kaya. Sure. I think they're just outvaluing us here, guys. Gonna be honest. Uh, also, just want to mention, we do still have our Double Masters giveaway going on right now. Um, you have until Monday, the 10th, uh, to actually enter that if you would like to. Um, we'd certainly love for you to if you'd be interested. It's a we're giving away a free draft pack. All you've got to do is subscribe to the channel, comment on any video, hashtag Double Masters, and you are entered to win. Um, we've done our best to keep on top of everybody who's commented, but there's still, I know, a few that we need to catch up on today. So we'll certainly do our best to make that happen. Um, this Yorian is really a huge problem for us. Sure. Of course, now we draw every land that we could possibly draw. Uh, let's get this out. Might as well. I'm going to go ahead and do this. 
We could wait till the end of their turn and we should, but it's fine. Yeah. They just are super controlly. Uh, yep. I'm kind of surprised we're hanging in there as, as well as we are. That Shatter the Sky was helpful. Um, Elspeth Conquer's death is just so good, though. All right. Sure. So we're definitely on the downhill swing now. Um, they're at 30, basically, and we are not, um, <laughs> which is a problem. All right. They can just kill the tokens, so that's not really a big deal. Oh, uh, yeah, they could just do that, too. All right. Cool. Well, we lost, but that's fine. Let's jump into game two. We'll, of course, do three games, and then we'll jump into a second video uh, where we'll hopefully get to see what this deck can do. Uh, I will say in playtesting it a little bit, it was really, really fun to be able to get like every piece out, and there were a few occasions where we were able to and just see the interactions happen because, again, when things die, you just get it all back as angels, so it's like, oh, it's fine, actually. <laughs> um, it was really, really strong. Uh, super, super good. All right, do we keep? Uh, it's a bit of a slow hand, but it does have the Miletus here, so let's try it. Help us hit our land drops as well. Ooh, yes, that's exactly the kind of draw we wanted. So we'll get a Birth of Miletus down. Uh, hopefully be able to get Outlaw's Merriment down pretty quickly, or an Archon, depending on what the uh, opponent's doing here. Let's go ahead and do this. And then next turn, we're set up to do Speaker plus a second Birth of Miletus to help us get more land drops. So, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, two red or two mountains and not much going on. Okay. So it looks like it might just be a slow mono red hand. That's kind of interesting. Ooh, they did not hit their land drop. That's a problem for them. All right, let's birth. Get a land. Get Speaker down. Perfect. Um, this is definitely the kind of thing we can really, uh, like against these mono red decks, we generally do okay because we have shatter and we just have a lot of like low ground things. Um, so it generally works out okay. Uh, let's just go ahead and play the merriment here. And we'll attack. And now you can see we're, even if they answer like the speaker, we've got merriment, so we're going to still get aggressive stuff down. We still have some walls out, so like there's very little they're going to be able to do there. All right, so let's do this. I really want to be greedy. Let's be greedy. Let's just do that. Uh, and let's play a speaker. I'm all too happy to trade this off here. Uh, if they're interested, that's fine. Okay, looks like they are. Uh, the sooner we can get to uh, 27 life, the easier we can get these speakers going. They may try... Okay, nice. That's fine. We were greedy. Um, just hit them for a damage. <laughs> oh, yes, please. Okay, so... <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and play Divine Visitation. We'll attack in. All right. So now we are pretty well set up. I don't think that they were going to have too much enchantment hate. Uh, also, Slaying Fire is not a card I expected. It makes sense, but like generally speaking, I don't normally see that. Um, I guess it works really, really well. This isn't really a card I expected, but I like it. I like it a lot. It's pretty solid. Uh, just want to thank everybody as well for all the support lately. We've had a really awesome uh, just kind of group of people. Um, see, this is this is the good stuff. All right. We've just had a really great, uh, you know, turnout with a lot of people joining our Discord lately. A lot of new subscribers, thanks to the giveaway and things like that. It just, it really means a lot. Um, so thank you guys so much. It really, it's really awesome to see everybody here. Um... We'll do this. We're not going to play the birth because I kind of want the boss three cat. All right. Um, this. I know we technically don't have to do this now, but we're going to do this now. All right. I'm being aggressive because we're definitely far ahead <laughs> at this point. Um, and so at this point, I kind of just don't care that much, but sure. 
The synergies. All right. Um, why not? All right, there we go. I was waiting for it. I was like, I don't know why you're still here. Um, okay, let's jump into our uh, our third game here. Thankfully, we're one and one. One more win, and we will be in decent shape uh, to move into video two. I'm liking it a lot, guys. I'm liking it a lot. I really love that Teferi is not in standard. I'm going to be honest. I'm the person that did not want Teferi. I really like it. It's, a, it's just such a... Um, such an interesting card. It's very crippling to a lot of decks, which is fine. It makes sense why it's there, but it's also very frustrating. Um, we'll keep this. It's not amazing. We don't have any heavy hitters, but we do have ways to pull out some stuff and keep us in the game. So I'm kind of okay with that. Looks like we're against a life gain deck anyway, so we might have a little bit of time here. We also might be able to kind of surprise them and... Uh, freebie kill this uh, speaker, which is going to be hopefully kind of nice. Let's do this. Get our second planes, which will set us up well for Divine Visitation. And the next turn, we, we get to just kind of play a land and see what they do. Uh, and then theoretically, we get to, to trade off some stuff here, which is perfectly fine by me. Well, maybe. We'll see. I, I think they would attack in still. Oh. That is honestly better. Um, yeah, we'll we'll pass here, though. We do need to save ourselves a good bit of damage, so there's a world where we just kind of don't worry about what we block with, but let's do this. Nice that we gain a couple life off of this as well. Cool. Uh, let's do this and let's do this just in case we'll see what they do A lot of times these decks can't do a ton. They may try and protect this which is great It's totally fine Cool Now we want them to commit 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 give me another creature to kill. Oh, they didn't do it. I should have known all right Gain a couple life. We're going to play a land. Technically, we should attack first, so let's attack first. All right. There is a world where we omen and just try and block a bunch of stuff. Do we try that? I kind of don't think so. Let's just take the opportunity to shatter. They get to draw a card here, and that's not great, but... Ooh, that's loud. Um, but... Okay, sure. That makes sense. Raise the alarm is really cool. What is this? Huh. Sure. All right, so we could do bishop. Uh, plus shock and then omen. Which isn't like great, but it's something, I think. Yeah, let's just do that. It's not amazing, um, and it's a bit of a tell. We've already played one Omen, and we just shocked ourselves to leave up a, a Sacred Foundry, so kind of obvious, but, you know, we'll see what they can do. Um, I would love to have played Divine Visitation, but I just don't think we can at this point. Okay. That's very good. Wow. Just gonna attack with everything. Okay. Whoops. Let's do this and we'll do this. We'll take four. It's not great, but. Um, all right. Don't like our position a lot here, but um, we do technically have what we need on board just to survive. Uh, and then Divine Visitation plus Dawn of Hope is actually very, very good. So 
This is just super powerful. Uh, this is a really interesting card. I don't think I have ever seen this card played in Constructed. I'll be honest. I think this is a first. Uh, which is fine. It's just really good. Uh, this is also going to get around our lifelink a little bit here. So uh, because it has double strike, we don't actually deal damage uh, until, like, if we block here. That doesn't actually work. So that's going to be kind of challenging. Okay. Sure. Okay. Um, hmm. I wish we could pull back with Chandra. I wish we could pull back Shatter. That would have been a really cool interaction, but we can't. Um, gonna have to do that. And I think we're just too late, right? Like, we just die. Let's see, one, two, yeah, we just die. All right. That is fine. All right, so we are one and two right now. Not great, but we're going to give this another few games. I really do like this deck. I love Outlaw's Merriment as a card, and we probably will try the control version of that deck at some point soon, uh, which I'm really excited about because, again, it's one of my favorites. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, of course, make sure to leave a like or a comment down below and subscribe if you're not already. Welcome to the community for all of you new people. Really, really excited to have you, and please check out the Discord if you have not already. Uh, really great group of people there. We're very, very fortunate. So please hang out with us, enjoy the content, and I will see you very soon for part two of this Outlaws Merriment token deck. Really, really sweet. I'll talk to you guys then.